Hey guys, what's good? You're welcome back to my channel, even though I'm in the kitchen. Well, we're gonna be giving you guys kitchen vibes today, okay? So my name is Nayuchi and this is the Nayuchi Show. If this is your first time of seeing my face or coming across my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn all the notification bell close to you so that we get more of my videos. If this is not your first time, you are welcome back. So today, um, we're gonna be doing a vlog, a food vlog. We're gonna be cooking for you. We're gonna be cooking for you because I know most of you don't know how to cook. You guys don't know how to cook, but I'm here to give you guys like, I mean, tips, but trust me, I won't be the one cooking. In fact, I know how to cook, shall, but I won't be the one cooking. So with me today, I have a very cute guest. I bet you guys will be thinking it's a lady that will be cooking, but guess what? It's a guy. So it's going to be like, you know, so let's invite. I am home. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm now is in the room. So guys, look at who we have here. He's going to be teaching us how to cook, but I'm going to allow him to tell us what he's going to cook for us and all of that. So please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jerry, Jerry Manuel. Okay. That's also Jerry on Instagram. I, I'm not a chef. Let's begin like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are I'm you sure? <laughs> guys, before I even allow him to finish, so I've been seeing lots of his cooking or in his stories and they're looking really, really good. I'm like, you know what? Guy, you have to come and teach us how to cook. So I was like, okay, we're good. So don't mind him. Like, I'm not a chef. Let's clear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a chef, but I just love to cook. I love okay. cooking, experimenting, trying new things in the kitchen. Oh, so right. It's kind of my thing. So today we'll be making. Um, exactly. Tell us what you would be making, and you're gonna take us through what you have for us. So what would you be making, by the way? Today we're making pasta stir fry. With Ooh, that name minced beef so oh. jumbo jumbo is kind of something that's like okay. just stuff together vegetables and prawns and uh, pasta of course and okay wow i'm hungry i haven't eaten this morning i'm here for the food actually <laughs> i'm here for the food so guys we'll be doing that and we'll be doing chit chats on big brother i mean most of you all know that big brother is out so as we're cooking and telling you guys tips on how to cook we'll be diverting and doing some tata food because it's important to the kitchen so yeah let me take you guys to what it has to show us, like what it's used to prepare the everything. So let's go. Look at that. Come right up. So please tell me what you have over here. Okay, so for our pasta stir fry, we will we'll definitely have a, of course, our pasta. Okay. Whole oh, wheat. Pasta. I like to use whole wheat because it's less on the starch and it's more filling. So for those cooks. that are trying to watch their weight and all that, whole, whole wheat, wheat pasta okay. is the way to go. So we have that. We have our dried prawns. They were actually dried and they've been soaked. So that is that water? Yes, they've been soaked in water. Are you so, yes. okay. so why I soak them is so that it gets some of its succulent nature back. Okay. And then also, the water it gives up is very flavorful. So we have onions, we have okay. tomato paste, right. we have green beans, carrots, tomato, fresh tomato, fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then our seasoning. That's fine. Those are seasoning cubes mm -hmm. and salt, of course. Okay. So that's all the mm -hmm. ingredients we're going to be using to prepare our pasta, pasta stir fry. fry. I got it. So what else like you're going to tell us how to prepare it like um step by step okay okay so the first thing you want you want to do is because this quick did cooks very fast okay so the first thing you want to do is what about the what about our protein our protein of course we have our season okay so this is it yeah okay. all right so the first thing you want to do is prepare the ingredients as already as already we've done our we've seasoned our meat so right. it's there and we've let it to cool and get tender okay. and then we're going to prepare our vegetables chop them you know prefer to chop all of that yes, chop all of that and then while that is going on we're going to get the pasta to the fire okay so, so let's just start cooking already Back. i placed a pot of water all right. on the fire and i'm adding salt to it so we'll let that boil for, for five the... minutes or so before we add in the pasta okay so we we'll chop our green beans Okay. I like to have them in different sizes. So some I'll cut small in smaller bits and Why some I'll, It just adds 
I mean, it's, it's for aesthetics. It's nothing, nothing okay. really. It's just, yeah. just my personal bass boost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our water is boiled. So what we we'll do now is we we'll add in our pasta. I'm going to chop in my carrots. And after carrots, what next? After carrots, you can cook. just generate, just, generate, cut, just everything. cut everything. Just... How many minutes do you have to cook the pasta? Like how many? Eight to, to ten minutes. Two bit there. I feel like it's difficult to cook this because you don't have to cook it to be soggy. Yes, eight to ten minutes is okay. Okay. Eight to ten minutes. It's not like noodles. Yeah. So it takes a longer time though. But still, if you overdo it, it gets too it's, soft. Yeah, it gets too soft. Yes. Guys, yeah, truthfully though, I'm happy being here because I really want to see how the whole thing goes. As I said that while we're cooking, we're gonna be gisting about this big brother. Although we've done a whole lot of gisting, but I feel like I feel like you can never stop gisting about it. There's I, I, a I really, lot. There's like so much to talk about because I follow the show like yeah. very religiously. I swear. Very, very religiously. From the very first from, okay, and no, this, let me not say the first season because this uh, is my first time of actually watching a big brother Nigeria. Like, like this is my first time of watching it from the beginning to I started like, following it very religiously from the second season. I had to go and buy a TV for that. That was that was um the second season that was Bisola and Faye. I didn't watch Kemen. those ones. There's what always something, there's always something that is always wrong with every housemate. Like that comments on he was he was he was he was disqualified. He disqualified of, him. I said continue our bus. You don't know what happened. I what he what he was disqualified what him. <laughs> but I just felt so bad for him. And in this last day, they disqualified Tatcha. Tatcha was. Do you think they're going to disqualify anyone in this you know, house? The disqualification is like part of the whole game process. The there is no process, season that has to have, be a disqualification. There has to be a disqualification. I'm so the, the second season had a disqualification. Came in. Oh. The season after that, Chloe and K. Brule were disqualified. So, Are you serious? Yes, I Chloe, didn't know about that. Chloe was disqualified. So I mean, it's part of the game. It's, it's part of the game. game. Someone has to be disqualified. Who would even be disqualified in this game? I'm thinking Lekon is playing to that gallery. I I, I, I really no, hope he does not get to be no, him because no. because the way he's because calling up Erica now, mm -hmm. and um, Brighto is not even a good person. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even talk about that one. Bright says, don't take your relationship. So, Brighton is like giving you this unnecessary, unnecessary. I don't know where all that yeah. is coming from, but I think in the end, Lacon may end up either get. No, 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 Lacon cannot. I feel like if. He Katrina, might get a strike mm -hmm. if Erica starts feeling a certain way about it and voices out like yeah, okay Lincoln, like you this really is need to chill like, this is take too a much. step back exactly i feel like if katrina is still in the house she might definitely be one of the persons that like she, she is likely yeah, to win towards the because yeah because part. she looks like someone that might actually get into a fight yeah and i would love yeah. to see that fight <laughs> <laughs> i would love to see I would love to oh, see that fight. I'm here for all that drama. The onions are making me out. Oh, sorry about that. I think this year should have been tight. I think <laughs> <laughs> this year should have been tight. Ultimate love. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, these but people, I mean, did you go to that house to... Like, what was your aim going there? Because it feels like one day, only one day passed, and the second by the second day, they're already forming relationships. I'm like, it's, it's just two whoa, weeks, whoa, guys. Can you, like, hold on? Whoa, whoa, can you whoa, hold on? Just two weeks, guys. So in just two weeks, the show has just started, and we've, and we've, we already we've gotten a break. Everything. Off. I'm we've like, got, is there anything else that they can offer? We've gotten a fight, we've gotten our first sex scene, we've gotten everything. We've finished everything. They don't know what else they're going to give us, really. So, nothing remains, nothing remains. So, we'll just keep following them as it is. So you're actually cutting them big, big like this, like it's big just, chops. It's it's your aesthetics. It's still. aesthetics. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all aesthetics. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that's why I I tell people I'm not a chef. I don't cook mainly just for consumption. Yeah. I'm more of you get that bring all that get aesthetics that. because that is, I, I like beauty. So I, I get like, it. So okay. I like cooking things that have we visual appeal. So I like to consider myself a food stylist. Oh, okay, and that's the main reason she get a blog that Sakos is suggesting. You know? uh, so why are you doing it like this? I'm fluffing it so that the strands can stand independently. Uh, so okay. I want to thin up the paste. So add a little water for it to make it lighter. Mm. 
to a more workable consistency. Because okay. as if it remains as thick as it is, mm -hmm. it will not be easy to work with. It won't blend with the other ingredients. Okay. All my pans. So why do we have two fried pans? We have two pans because I'm going to be making two different batches of pasta. One is going to be more like the usual jollof pasta, which yeah. everybody is used to. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to be more, you know, mixed up, Get more oriental, kind okay. of clinical. Say we're using the something like a real chef. Everything gets fast forward at this point. I swear. Is the fire okay for it? Yes, fire is good. That's the chef food. <laughs> so, mix it so we're adding the... So here we're adding the vegetables at this point. And then this other way, what we're adding is our this is the normal one we are eating, but yeah. the normal one. Yeah. Wow, this is so nice. The whole thing is adding a pinch of salt. And then two stock cubes. Okay. In each pan. Okay. Shrimp. Okay. 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 I'll use some of the shrimp water here. Over here. Just to add a little of flavor. Then I'm adding some thyme mm -hmm. for that extra zing. I add it both ways. Look at this dude. His husband material place. This is the highlight. See, this is why you needed to fluff at the end. Because okay, at this point, it. because of the consistency of the pasta, it gets to stick. Alright. So fluffing it, I mean it reduces most of the mm -hmm. sticking. Mm. Oh, wow, this looks so good. I don't know about you. Aww. I don't know about you guys. So this is a lot. Okay, we're adding this one. So you see what I did there, I preserved the diced ones for yes. the jollof, the oh, diced okay. carrots, I preserved for the jollof mm. pasta, and then we add this. You know what the tomatoes are for this? Yeah, they are for this. So after adding that in here, what I will do is, I need to add in some of the loose beef. Oh. As you can see, the beef. And then how do we establish the fat that it is tasting? 
If it's tasty, yeah. we need that to be God's of the God's of the kitchen. <laughs> Like if it's like my gift, no if I'm at um, so taste or my taste. You know, basically um, these are everything here is portion, so Ooh, I know nothing else. What, yes, mm. we get. But then for some people that are not really conversant with the kitchen and knowing portions and seasoning portions, so you're you right. Checking in from time to time by testing it. But I mean suppose okay. we don't <laughs> No already. We don't know, we don't <laughs> so Alright people, so we we'll just let that sit on low heat for about two minutes and then sit down without Do this girl, I told you all husband material, boyfriend material, I'm gonna put his dates in case you're interested. You know what I'm trying to talk about. We're done cooking and um, this is what the food looks like. Remember I told you we prepared the two dishes, the jollof and the real, real, real thing. So yeah. This one is the jollof one because I mixed it together because I want to eat the both of them so that I can um, check the taste. And it just is gonna taste really nice. And this is the real deal. Like I like I like how the thing is. So thank you guys for watching. I'm not gonna show you fast. Should I show you guys when I'm eating it? Let me show you guys a bit of when I'm eating it. But in case I don't, thank you guys for watching. And this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys learn because most importantly it's for you guys to learn how to do it. Alright, and shout out to our chef, Jerry. Thank you so much for doing this with me. All right, sign out. Comments. Drop a comment in the comment section. If you have a different way you prepare it, just drop it in the comment section. Guys, it would be very bad if I don't tell you guys how this stuff tastes it's like. Look. It's so good. So good. Hmm. It's so good.